To enable BitLocker drive encryption, I'll go to Endpoint Security in the Intune Admin Center and will click on Disk Encryption Blade under Manage. Here I will click on Create Policy and will choose the platform as Windows. We have options for Mac OS as well. The profile I'm going with is BitLocker. The BitLocker drive encryption is a data protection feature that integrates with the operating system and addresses the threats of data theft or exposure from lost, stolen or inappropriate decommissioned computers. We have other option for personal data encryption as well. There is a data protection feature that encrypts select folders and its content on deployed devices. Here in my case, I'll be using the BitLocker drive encryption. It's a very old uh, feature that was introduced by Microsoft in Windows Vista for the first time and we can use it for data disk drives and the operating system drives as well. It's a disk level encryption. I have discussed it uh, conceptually, theoretically in the previous video already. This is about the demonstration. Here is the name of this policy which is Contoso BitLocker and description is to enable BitLocker for all devices as per the given scenario in the intro of this video. I will go with the configuration settings for this where I will set up the BitLocker, BitLocker drive encryption. So here I will configure the BitLocker drive encryption as required. Required device encryption? Yes, that's enabled. Now I have other settings related to warning or configure the recovery password rotation. How do we want to rotate this password that is used to encrypt this? I have settings for BitLocker drive encryption, operating system drives, fixed data drives or removable data drives. We got BitLocker to go in Windows 7 for removable disks like USB drives as well. Well, uh, here I'll be going with operating system volumes to be encrypted. So the setting that I have done is for operate or expanded is operating system drives for which I will configure various settings. I have first of all this enforced drive encryption type on operating system drives. I will enable it. Yes, I want that during the boot up it should ask that pin to decrypt this drive. The pin that will be set up during the encryption. I want full encryption or used space encryption that I can configure from here. Require additional authentication at startup. I can enable that. Then I can uh, go without TPM as well. So there are options like configure this TPM allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. And uh, TPM is actually a small chip module, you can call it. So this is configurable. I will say minimum characters for this length of the pin is six character. I have enabled the setting and uh, then I will configure any other setting that is required. We have a uh, few other settings here, allow enhanced pins for uh, startup or uh, configure the pre-boot recovery message and the URL. Choose how BitLocker protected operating system drives can be recovered. For this, I also can decide like how I can recover it. So I will enable this setting and then decide to recover these drives. This is the uh, uh, you know recovery of the BitLocker protected operating system drives to uh, recover. And for this, I can store the key in the Active Directory domain services, the BitLocker drive encryption key. So it is securely stored in a safe place actually. For uh, this, I can uh, configure the storage of BitLocker recovery to the ADDS. There we have the setting, configure the storage of BitLocker and do not enable BitLocker until the recovery information is stored to ADDS for the operating system. So these are the settings that can be turned on and configured. And uh, once I'm done with that, okay, this is another setting, omit recovery options from the BitLocker setup wizard and uh, save the BitLocker re recovery information to the ADDS for the operating system drives in case I want to do this. So I can uh, turn it on from here. So click true on this also, use this toggle button. Once we are done with this, then we'll click on next and we'll skip this scope 
and in the assignment i'll do it for the contoso developer devices the seattle workstation one is the member of this group already as per the scenario this was supposed to be applied for contoso developers devices so that is what the assignment is done once uh, this is done i will apply this policy on the client side so i'll switch to the client machine the seattle workstation one and will log into this device password and oops that's a different password let me provide the password again All right, now let's go ahead, sign in and let us synchronize the security settings or the Intune policies from the work or school account option under the settings app. I could have forced applied this setting from the Intune side as well by going to the device and uh, uh, hitting that sync button. I'll go to the accounts and uh, this work or school account that it is connected with and we'll click on this info button and we'll click on this sync button. It can take a few minutes to apply this configuration. We need to wait for a while. Once the settings have been pulled by this uh, agent from the Intune, then you will see a notification on the right bottom corner right now you see there is one notification here beside this date and time if you see so there will be a notification here for the bitlocker drive encryption and that we will get shortly once the settings are applied as per the bitlocker configuration settings defined in intune here we go so this is encryption needed your work or school requires this device to be encrypted this setting has been enabled from the Intune side. For this, I will enable the BitLocker. I'm waiting for few more seconds for this synchronization to complete. And uh, as this is completed now, I'll close this window. So take a closer look at the uh, right bottom corner where you have different options related to the Teams or OneDrive or Microsoft Windows Security or you have the uh, other settings. Since this is a virtual machine, so we have limited options here right now and uh, the date and time is there. Here you see the language you can change it from then you have the volume and then here is the uh, date and time and then the notifications here is the notification i was talking about encryption needed i will go with i do not have any other disk encryption software installed encrypt all my disks so are you ready to start the encryption yeah that's fine we'll go with this and uh, click on yes to start the encryption Now the pin is required actually as per the configuration settings for enabling this uh, encryption and uh, the length of the pin is six characters. So I will enter the pin which is recommended. I can also use the USB. The pin I'm going to provide here is six characters in length as per the policy's requirement and we'll click on set pin. This will start the encryption, which is a little bit of time consuming process, depending on the size of your operating system volume, the applications, packages, features that you have running on your uh, Windows operating system. 
Well, this is how we turn on the BitLocker configuration from Microsoft Intune to the enrolled devices into it. After enabling the BitLocker drive encryption on the operating system disk, at the boot up, it will ask the pin which was defined during the BitLocker encryption to load the operating system. I will enter the pin here and hit enter. Now this will decrypt this operating system drive and load the operating system. This is how we can enable the BitLocker drive encryption to encrypt the entire drive.